The map making series. It's been a long time since we have done one of these. But with new items like the animal spawners available now, it is about time we get back into it. Sandy Eden recently commented on one of my old ones. Sandy, if you enjoyed these, you're in for a treat with this one, cause it's gonna be amazing. This island will be called Animal Kingdom because we do have the animal spawners now and I want to use them in the way that makes sense. I don't just want to have the animals sitting in mid-air so to say or in the middle of the island. I want them to have a sheltered place where they respawn. I'm trying to make it so that the player cannot enter that place or at least cannot enter it very easily. We will see how that works. As usual, I have not played the map even though I have finished it. <laughs> This is one big change to the old videos. In those you had three videos, the first two were just building the island and in the final one you had the download for the island. Now I am making it so that we finish the island completely in one video. Meaning that I'm cutting down over 4 hours of work into 15 minutes for you guys. And then we dedicate 5 to 10 minutes to checking out the island. So we get a not too long video and you have the final product in one go. I think this is a way better approach. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the only inspiration I had for this island was the Lion King movie. They have a 3D version of that now, which I didn't enjoy all too much. To be honest, it's basically the exact same movie with 3D, which is... If you've seen the old one, no real reason to check out the new one. But the King's Rock, as I will call it, not sure if that's what it is called. This is what gave me the inspiration for this map and then I'm just freestyling it from there. So after throwing down the main facade for this rock, we already start with our first cave. And this cave I want to dedicate to the boars and the hog. I want to have a couple of small boars or let's just call them piggies they are adorable and one big hog being the protector of the tribe so to say. So they will be living here underneath the king's rock and hopefully they will be able to walk out of this gap easily. I'm trying to just eyeball it because I'm not sure how many spaces they need for their hitbox and everything. We will make this thing look like a cave as much as we can with a few shrubs and things but mostly just rocks on the walls and so that there are no glitched out ceilings or anything. This game now supports the Steam Workshop which is very exciting but also very confusing. They gave us a command line tool with which we can upload maps and localizations, which I think is language content. I haven't tried it out just yet, but I want to figure out how to use it and then use it for this map. Once I figured it out, I can make a little tutorial for you guys. And if everything works out as I hope, it should be super easy. There will be a link in the video description to the Steam Workshop where you can subscribe to my content and then you will automatically be able to download this map and all the ones that I will make in the future. What you can see me do right here is make a ceiling for our cave, mostly blocking out the foliage that we used, the shrubbery or the bushes I think they are called from below, while also working on creating a cave because the King's Rock does have a cave where the lions live and I want to try and replicate that. It won't be really easy because making huge caves is very difficult. You have to make ginormous cliff constructions in order to make a huge cave and I want this island to be more than just one ginormous rock so to say. So here I'm playing around with a couple of rocks, a couple of cliffs and I quickly grow bored of it and then jump to the back area where I want to have more cliffs. I want this to be some sort of an enclosed area. I don't know the actual English, I don't even know the German word for it, but I know what I want it to look like and it will turn out quite cool, trust me on that one. One problem I'm having with condensing so much footage into such a small amount of time is that I cannot show you everything. So we will stick to the big projects and all the details like throwing down shrubs here and there I will do off camera. You will see the final product in the end of the video and of course if you check out the link down below you can see it for yourself in game. This whole King's Rock idea inspired me so much that I wanted to have more than just one of it. So here we try a second approach with 
more rocks instead of cliffs so it will be a bit smaller and it won't have a cave to either side but it will add a really cool area to the map. Altogether, I want to have a place for the boss, which we already do. I want to have a place for crabs, like a crab home. And I want to have a place for snakes. The last one will be the easiest, because I think snakes just live around rocks and high grass, so we just need a rocky area and we can throw those guys down. <laughs> it sounded a bit... I'm not going to literally throw down snakes, okay? Just to clarify that. After adding a few rocks to just make it look more, well, <laughs> rocky, <laughs> more roughed up. And after cleaning up some messes that I, I don't know how that happened, but I'm cleaning it up. We go back to working on the king's cave. I really need a better name for that. But you know what I mean when I say it, so maybe we'll just stick with that. Going back and forth here, checking that whatever I'm adding on top is not interfering with the cave down below. Because I'm really happy how that turned out and I don't want to mess with it. This whole King's Cave project was a lot of trial and error. I had to make sure whatever I add is not interfering with the cave down below. I had to make sure it's not interfering with the cave that leads to the cliff that is fallen over. I don't know how to call it. I'm lacking a lot of vocabulary here. And I had to make sure it is still large enough, big enough, so that the player can be in there, maybe build something. So you're seeing only a very tiny portion of what I went through there until I was happy with it. And while we're looking at that, why not talk about 2020? Ugh. As you can maybe hear, I'm currently sick again with those flus, man. It is, it is difficult for me to talk, but this video is quite okay. I can sit back, I can relax, so can you. We're working on this together. But the plans for the channel, I want to spice it up a lot more. Before I had the huge break, it was mainly Stranded Deep, Minecraft and we started with Subnautica. Subnautica I would love to bring back, but I did this as live streams and with my current internet situation I moved by the way. <laughs> I now live in Berlin, the capital of Germany. And with the internet situation that I'm having here, live streaming is sadly not really an option. But as I said, I do want to have more variety to the channel. We started with The Green Hell, one of the best games I have ever played. Not exaggerating here, I love this game so much. Why yes, we will do more map making, why else would I bring this back? We will start another season of Stranded Deep. Sadly, I cannot get my old map to work. Maybe I'll make a video and show you how it is looking. We had a really cool world going on there with a large base that was built into the mountains. But it is completely glitched out with the new billboard system and everything. So sadly, I don't think we can rescue that. I tried and, and I can't find a way. Maybe we will even do a playthrough where we add one of the maps that I made or one of the maps that you guys made. Now with the Steam Workshop available, if we can figure out how that works, it should be really cool to check that out. After seeing the cave, the King's Cave, let's just call it that, whatever, I decided that it's a bit small and maybe the player wanted a bit more space. So I'm trying to add more caves to this map. This won't really be a cave, it's more like an overhang of rocks, but it still looks really cool. As for games that we will play in the future, I think I will make more piloting episodes, just see how they are received. Yeah, I think I'll do that with The Witcher 3 actually, because I do want to play that. I'm not sure if I should make videos on that, since it's a rather old game by now. But it's a current topic with the Netflix series and everything, and I haven't played it before, so we will see. But altogether, I think I like the idea of having piloting episodes, see how they are received, see just how you guys like it. The game, the style I play it, because I don't want to play every game in the same way. That would be boring. As I said, I want to have more variety to the channel because this is a lot of fun for me. Making every video a bit different, having some very silly ones, having some more serious ones depending on what the game gives us and just going with the flow of the moment. And going with the flow of the moment here, we are adding more cliffs. This was actually the hardest part of this map for me. I had no clue what to do with it. So I started by making a height map with the set height tool. This usually works well for me because I get a general idea of how things could look. I can play around with it, try different things easily without having to move objects in and out. And it, it just, you see what I mean there? We have a rough shape of what could be a mountain there and it's way easier to work with that, adjust that, than to place all the cliffs and then moving them one by one. So once I'm happy with the shape, I'm adding the cliffs. 
A process that I will not show you in detail because it's very repetitive. But I found another chance to have another overhang and hey, I do like these overhangs. So we are trying one here and as the other ones, it will turn out pretty well. I like it. Another advantage of using the height map kind of method is that the ground is about as high as the cliff and with the current building system that we have in the game, this means that we should be able to easily place structures on top of the cliffs or at least I hope that's one of the ideas I had there. We have this spot of the island here with not too much things happening on them so I thought this could be our snake place. So I'm throwing down some rocks, big rocks, small rocks, short rocks and then we place down gently some snakes. And after that I decide that the huge cliffy area we have in the center of our map is well too huge. There's nothing going on but cliffs. So I'm trying to add another cave here and this time make it a larger one when, where you could maybe even put a house in or at least a little hut maybe two rooms I'm not sure how big it will turn out we will see that once the video is done well not the video but at the end of the video when we jump into the game and check out the map I'm curious to see how this all will turn out something we will not do in this map is place down any structures I'm thinking about making two versions of it one with some old survivor huts like the ones where you find the skeletons in which are new in the game and it could be fun to play around with them and then one version where you don't have anything especially in the caves so you can build it all as however you like it. That will depend on how easy it is to use the tool that they have set up or provided better say for the steam workshop and plain honesty here if I feel like it. Maybe, maybe I won't do that. I mean if you want some survival structures there you can download the map and add them for yourself. But I do not want to add any shipwrecks or anything because this map is called Animal Kingdom. Well it's called Sacred Lands now. <laughs> But I will call it Animal Kingdom in a later version. So no man-made structures or shipwrecks or anything for this map. We will have this option for maps in the future and we will see what we can make out of them. Like this inspired me to make a villain's base, some sort of a bunker or anything. This could be really cool inside of caves. Pixie Sophie did that way back in the day and I think with all the options we have now there should be really cool things we can do. Once I was happy with that cave there were only the crabs left, they did not have a home yet so I set that up on one of the shores that we had. I wanted it on a shore because I still think that crabs do like water even though they maybe not like it in the game. Maybe they changed that actually. In a recent update they changed the AI of all land critters and maybe the crabs can walk in water now. Um, however whether they can or not I wanted for them to have the I wanted for them to have the option. I wanted them to have the option to do so. So they have an entrance that leads in the water and one that leads on land and hopefully they are both big enough so that they come out and will maybe hunt the player. <laughs> and yeah, I guess for you to hunt them if you want to. Poor crabs though. The game does have a steam achievement called vegetarian, which I find amazing. I really want to get that. But with the crabs home done, we are basically down to decorating, throwing in some details here and there, wherever it looks plain and a lot of shrubberies wherever we want it to look green. This concerns mostly the snakes place and there is one part of this island that we haven't touched at all yet. I want that to look kind of forestry like. We will do that at the very end here so in just a minute or so. And for these cuts I'm trying to move the camera as little as possible so that I can speed up the footage even more. I think it turns out really well. You just saw that on the snake island and you'll see it again in a second but it's very hard to do. In order to make sure that nothing is glitching through the floor or through other objects I do have to move the camera quite a bit and when checking that I made no mistakes here after recording I found quite a few floating objects especially in this area right here. If you move the objects too far away from your camera you cannot really see them. They kind of become invisible because of render distance I guess. Like some of the palm trees don't even have their leaves on. But all together it works pretty well. Just throw down a bunch of items at once and then go in and do some detail works. With that method we got this to look like a forest in I think this took me under 10 minutes which is pretty good considering oh pretty good oh my goodness my <laughs> voice it's time we end it here and jump into the game to check out what we have created I'm excited. Animal Kingdom here we come. 
Oh, this this already looks okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this looks amazing. Our forest <coughs> looks like a forest to me, I would say. Very dense, I like it. Maybe, no, I don't think it is too dense. You might not be able to build here, but that is okay. You could either build high up, so kind of above the trees, because I think the plants that you cannot harvest will make it unable to put down a building. We will check out the upstairs there, the cliffs, in a minute, but I want to check out the cave first. And it's actually smaller than I thought. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's it's cool. Can we... F okay, we can fit back here. No glitchiness. Can we fit through there? No. But that is okay. We could maybe put a fire back there and then have a living area here with a bed and everything. It, it, it looks good. It looks good. Let's check out the top of the cliff and also how easy it will be to walk up there. It's always a bit different to judge it in the editor and then to make it happen in real pff, in real life in the game but this does look good oh yeah that, that that works way better than i thought it would i jump here and there yeah that is cool i like it a lot can we get up there i'm pretty sure we can actually and we're up and oh yeah this is a view i love it this turned out really well if i do say so myself Let's see how it feels inside the King's Cave among the King's Rocket. <laughs> I really need a better name for this. But let's see if we can actually fit in there. How tall it will be? Hey, that is not so bad. It's a lot more narrow than I thought it would be, but it's higher. It's, it's, it's quite cool. Oh, mm, should we leave that? Oh, yes, we should. Yes, we should. This is cool. I love this effect. I don't know if you could see it while making the map, but I added an opening here with some sort of a balcony. We can look down on the piggies. Well, this proves that they can come out. This is awesome. Oh man, the view. I would say I'm happy with that. It's, 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 it's a cool cave. I'm happy with it. Let's see how this area back here feels while making the map. This was kind of like my favorite area and I, yes, I like it a lot. Oh, this is cool. I don't know how you would call it. Is it a grove? I don't think it is, but it, it is cool. <laughs> Let's see how this cave turned out. Yeah, it really is not a cave, but it is big enough to put down the foundation, I think, and just be sheltered. It's, yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm down for that. The view is amazing. Now all we have left to do check out the crabs. Oh, but let's not forget about the backside of the island. There's not too much going on, but this, this is cool. Oh, wow, that turned out better than I thought it would. What a cool area here. Man, oh man, I, I really want to play this map now. <laughs> but hey, it is just the very first that we are making. Oh, we haven't checked out the piggies actually. We have not seen the, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he's happy to see me i'm in creative so that's okay i want to oh yeah i want to get in there actually hey little guy this is decent that's quite good i am not sure he did not follow us in here but he did go out on his own so i guess it's good it works it works the way we wanted it to and it looks so cool man am i happy with this this overhang looks really cool too from down here underwater I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, it looks very plain here. Maybe these walls are too close in order for items to generate. Like usually we have a lot of things generating underwater, but not so much. Let's check out our crabs though. Let's first check from the water. Here is the opening and okay, there they are. <laughs> Do you think they will come at me? Oh, there's a little guy. Hey, I can just swim in here. I did not expect this to be so easy and I did not expect them. We, okay, now they're getting aggressive. Hey, can I? They can get out there easily. Okay, I am stuck here. I can, however... Yeah, you can swim in, but it seems like you can't walk in. I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Do they need some flowers in there? Like plants? Do they... Hi! <laughs> okay, you can actually check these guys out. I was grossed out by them at first, but looking at them like that, they have adorable little eyes. They aren't so bad. And neither is this thing. Man, oh man, I am super happy with this map. I hope you are as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the map. Let me know if you were able to download it over the Steam Workshop. And I really hope 
you enjoyed this episode. I hope I will see you in the next one. This was your personal virus. And I hope I got you infected.